Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Today we are doing a very, very biased video. It is not a review because it's so biased that I could not possibly review this. The reason it's so biased is it's because it's my pen. Yay! So this is the Bennu Euphoria, uh, uh, Talisman, sorry, True Unicorn Fountain Pen. And I designed this in collaboration with Bennu, and it was made possible by the fantastic Bennu distributors, Luxury Brands of America, so shout out to them. And um, this is just a fun video to do some writing, show you the sparkles, and give you a bit of background about the pen. So let's open the box, shall we? Inside your box, you get a cartridge of ink, you get the Bennu, uh, little th uh, little thingy where it's like limited lifetime warranty, etc. And you get your pen in a sleeve like this, <clears throat> all recyclable, blah, 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 recyclable, all reusable. You also get this, which tells you about your <clears throat> true unicorn fountain pen. The talisman fountain pens have inspiration and substance added of a talisman. And in this case, it's the true unicorn plant. The magical attribution ascribed in myths is protection against evil. <clears throat> so you totally need this pen. It's just really cool. And obviously we think about unicorns and we think about fun stuff like that. So uh, I don't want to read all this to you because it's quite extensive, but I wrote some of it and Benu helped me with the rest of it like with the, the myths and all that kind of stuff. But the true unicorn root may have mystical and medicinal history. And um, yeah, it's just really fun. So it also goes by the name of Stargrass, Crow Corn, Devil's Bit, or Ague Root. It was a, It's a flower that was traditionally used to treat fever and even malaria, but, you know, became uh, off-label uses, basically. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so when I, I, I described, like, well, first of all, I, I, I was talking to Benu. This is, this has been a long time in the making. Uh, I was talking to Benu and, oh, look at those sparkly flakes. I described what I saw, like what my vision was for the pen. And I, I find it absolutely incredible, but the, the designer, Alex, poured this and, Kate sent the picture and said, is this what you're looking for? And I was like, hex, yeah, because this is a very unicorn pen. It is pink, purple, turquoise. It is somewhat translucent and there are big holographic rainbow flakes in it, as well as silver flakes. I thought the Euphoria Vodka on the Rocks was the ultimate of glitter but I think this one takes the cake. And again, I'm super biased because, well, obviously it's, it's, it's my pen, right? But um, I, have, I have it in the shop. It is currently sold out, but there are more coming and um, they are not numbered. Sorry, I got distracted by the sparkles. So they're not numbered. <clears throat> Anyway, the talisman is a really nice size. I, if you compare it, so bring the Euphoria back. It's it's smaller than the Euphoria and slimmer, so I, I find it a little more comfortable. Really nice spring-loaded clip. The body has facets that are rounded, and it can be posted quite comfortably. So it's a little long, but it's it's not a heavy pen. The section, because it's translucent, you do see your nib unit. And some people don't like that, so I'm just letting you know. It is cartridge converter filled, standard international, but you can eyedropper it. So <clears throat> my euphoria here is eyedroppered, and I don't know if you can see it moving, but you get the fun inky effect. These use Schmidt nib units. They are not rebranded. And you know, it's funny because I've done many Bennu reviews in the past, and I was always like, oh, rebrand, rebrand the nib. But I would still like imagine a cute little unicorn on here, but the performance of every Banu nib I've ever used, and I've used probably like 30 Banus, has been superb. So 
whatever they're doing, they're doing right. And if they're focusing on the QC instead of the branding of the nibs, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> if that means that I can recommend Bennu and know that someone's going to get a solid writer, I'm okay with it. Should we write? Maybe. I did not put a unicorn ink in here. I put, wait, first I'm going to do Bennu. Talisman. My paper is bouncing, so it's making writing hard. This is the Gourmet Pens True Unicorn. The ink, wait, first of all, let's do wetness. It is juicy. Not super gushing, probably like a 8 out of 10, which is completely arbitrary because that means nothing to you. But it's, it's not super wet, but it's pretty wet because there is ink pooling at the ends of my letters. The ink is Pei Fei Ackerman and Gourmet Pens. Yes, me again. Business in the front, party in the back. It is a lovely work-appropriate blue-black. <clears throat> Add some water to it and it goes wild. Or anything else to it, whatever you want. So these are firm nibs. You can add pressure so it gets to be like a really wet broad, like almost double broad. But they perform really well. So let's do... I'm doing a really low angle here, which is really unusual for me. Just curious. I don't know how many people write this low, but... Obviously, this is not a pen for everyone. It is very, very unicorny, <laughs> and it's very sparkly, and some people don't like clear pens, and some people don't like clear sections, and all of that is totally fine. I don't expect everybody to like this. I just wanted to share it with you because I really like it, and I just, I just, I'm excited about it. So it is obviously my favorite Bennu to date, but I'm biased. So let's do some side writing and then you can see the pen a little more intimately and then we will come back and do a very biased wrap up. Now, the very biased wrap-up. I have this pen in my shop. As I'm recording this, it is sold out, but there's more incoming. If you would like to see this pen as a standard offering, please let me know in the comments because I would love to beg Bennu to make that happen. Because I, if you want one, I want to make it possible for everybody to enjoy it. Otherwise, you can let me know what you think, but please be nice because I'm small and sensitive. I'm not small, but I'm sensitive and I might cry. <laughs> so um, if you would like, 
you could check it out and other goodies at gourmetpensshop.com. And I'm on the socials at Gourmet Pens and Gourmet Pens Shop. I also have a podcast, Gourmet Pens, GourmetPensClub.com. I am exceptionally cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a spin with the Bennu Unicorn with me. And that's everything. So have a magical rest of your day. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.